So today we are going to draw and color a corn. And what we're going to start off with is a simple sheet of paper. You can go ahead and turn it vertical and then you are going to need a light pencil because we're sketching and an eraser. All right, so now we're going to get started with sketching. So if you take a look at the corn, it almost looks like it's in the shape of a rectangle, but it's pointy right here at the bottom, and then it sort of squares up here. All right, so you are going to go ahead and start up here. Start higher than lower, and you're going to go down Remember, we're just sketching, so sketch lightly. And then we'll go, we'll draw a curvy line this way. So you've got two curvy lines again. We've been practicing our lines a lot. So you're just going to draw the same curvy lines you've been practicing. And you could always go over those lines because we're just sketching. Okay. Now we've got two lines coming together. You're going to connect them right here at the bottom. And then we're just going to draw a line this way where our corn will end. After you draw the shape of your corn, you are going to draw curvy lines up like this. So do you see it's in the shape of a curvy line? I'm going to draw one curvy line here and then one curvy line. Up. We're going to draw our lines pretty big, pretty thick. So you're going to draw another curvy line and another curvy line up. They're just repetitive lines. Another curvy line and another curvy line, and another curvy line, and another one, okay? What you are going to do next is you are going to sketch a line right here down the middle. It's going to connect and end right here at this point. So you're gonna draw a line up. If you have a ruler, you can go ahead and use a ruler. If not, you're just going to draw a line up, just right down the middle. And then you're going to draw another line this way to the left, another line on the left hand side of that middle line, center line, and then one on the right. Okay. So now it looks like you've got little tiny squares inside of the corn. What you're going to do now that you have your layout of the corn, your outline of the corn, you're going to use your light sketch pencil to draw upside down letter U's inside those squares. So for example, we're going to draw one here. That's one. We're going to draw another here, two. We're going to draw one here, three, four. And you're going to make sure they, they go all the way at the top here. Here. I'm using the whole square. And then another one down here. You're going to fill in all of those squares. Fill it in, fill it in, fill it in, all the way up up to the top, make sure it, you make it connect the top. Another one here, another one here, another one here. And this is all very repetitive because if you notice in God's creation, there there's a lot of repetition and patterns, right? And that is what shows up in his, his creation, in even corn. You'll see here, they connect. 
and then down here and we'll go ahead and close it like this okay so now you have these upside down U's, and what you're going to do now is you are going to color so the colors that we're going to use in the example are brown yellow and orange and what we're going to do is we're going to create a color pattern here where we use orange brown yellow orange brown yellow if you notice in corn there are different colors inside the corn so if you notice in corn the pattern isn't perfect and that's okay you can go ahead and just pick three colors and you're going to to use those three colors to create your pattern inside your corn all right so we're going to go ahead and start So we'll start with orange and we'll color that, color that in orange and then go brown, color that in and then we've got yellow. And then we'll start again orange brown and yellow orange brown If you notice in our example, I colored in detail. I'd like for you to do that as well. I'm showing you here just the outline, the basic outline that you could follow for your own corn. So we've got yellow, orange, And then we've got brown, and yellow, orange, brown, and then yellow. So you notice these are really big. Yellow. Orange. And brown. Yellow. We're almost there. So there's a lot of repetition, right? There, there's a lot of repetition in, in art. That's that's what creates a, a picture. And now brown. Yellow. Yellow. Orange. And brown again. Yellow. And orange. Okay, so what you're going to do now is, if you notice, there's these little tiny gaps inside our squares. What I want you to do is go ahead and 
fill in those gaps with with the color that you started with. So here it'll be brown. Here it'll be here it'll be orange. Brown, it won't be perfect, but you're just filling it in. You're filling it in here, even here. Here, here. And then we'll do the orange, we'll fill it in here. Fill it in here, fill it in here, fill it in here, and then our yellow. So fill it in, fill it in. Got that brown one. Okay. All right. So, what I encourage you to do is I only colored one layer of color you can go ahead and now take your time to color maybe even one or two more layers so do you see the difference this is just another layer and it makes it look a lot brighter so you can go ahead and go back and fill in Fill in your letter U's, okay? All right, so it looks a lot brighter. After you color another layer of your colors, you're gonna go ahead and cut out your corn. And then with your leftover paper, what I want you to do is go ahead and cut it here, right here down the center. And then with your leftover paper, we are going to go ahead and create the corn husk. So I want you to go ahead and use your leftover paper to shape your corn husk. So here we've got we've got the shape of corn husk. So there's your corn husk. And now what you're going to do is use a large construction paper to go ahead and set up your corn right here in the center where you want to glue it. And then you are going to take your glue stick You'll place it right in the center and then you'll take your glue stick and glue right here at the bottom of your corn husk 
and you're going to place it right here underneath your corn husk. You'll go ahead and glue it there. Okay. And now what you'll do is with your color pencil, if your paper is light, you can use a contrasting color, which is dark, and you're going to write the verse, Psalm 106.1. If you can write in cursive, go ahead and write in cursive. If not, that's okay. We want to practice our cursive. Or if there's another verse that really speaks to your heart about just being thankful to God for all that he has uh, given you, provided for you, then you can go ahead and choose that verse, okay? Oh, give thanks. to the Lord for he is good. He is always, always good no matter what for his steadfast love. Steadfast means unchanging, reliable, Love endures. Endures means to it, it lasts. His love lasts forever. It endures forever. We can always rely on his love. Psalm 106, 1. All right. Okay. So that is about it. Remember, you can go ahead and make sure that you color more layers onto your corn, on your corn, all right? If you'd like to color your corn husk, you can go ahead and do that. All right, see you later. Thank you.